Journal of Dr. Ellis Marlow. Antarctica Research Station, December 3rd, 2042. The cold has a way of stripping you down to your most basic self. Here, under the endless white, where the wind howls like the last breath of a dying planet, I discovered something that stripped us of much more. I should start from the beginning. We were a team of six, dispatched to drill beneath the Antarctic ice sheet, searching for ancient bacteria, something to help us understand life's resilience. The mission was straightforward enough and our spirits were high, despite the knowledge that if something went wrong, health was at least three weeks away. Things went wrong. The storm came, cutting off communication and supply routes. The food ran out in the second week. First came the arguments, then the desperation, and finally the silence. The cold gnawed at us, hollowing us out until there was nothing left to feel, nothing but hunger. I, I don't know who was first. I stopped counting the days, we stopped counting the dead. But that's not why I'm writing this. No, I'm writing because of what happened after. Deep beneath the ice in the samples we had drilled, I found something, a strain of bacteria frozen for millennia. It was unlike anything I had ever seen, not in any textbook or theory. It was alive, dormant, but alive. And in our desperation, I let it touch the blood. I don't know what I was hoping for, maybe some answer to the hunger that consumed us. Instead, it gave me something worse. It brought them back. One by one, they stirred in their body bags, stiff and cold like marionettes whose strings had been yanked by an unseen hand. Their eyes were glassy, and their skin, pale and blue, clung tight to their bones. They stood moving as though they still remembered how, but there was no life in them, not in the way we understand it. Yet they were aware, aware of the hunger it hadn't left them, and now they were no longer weak. I thought the cold was merciless. But this, this was cruelty in its purest form. I hear them now, outside the door, scratching at the steel. I am the last one left. It's been three days since I barricaded myself in the lab. I know I won't last much longer. The hunger gnaws at me, but it's not as bad as the other thing, the knowledge. The knowledge that I did this, I brought them back. I made them monsters. The cold is seeping in, the bacteria. I can feel it crawling through my veins. Maybe soon I'll join them. Maybe I'll never be alone again. 